I'm just trying to move up to a bigger screen, um, trying a UHD or 4K television. This one's a TCL, and I'm using it with a MacBook Pro Retina, late 2013. That'll only feed the display at um, 30, 30 kilohertz, I think it was, 30 hertz, so 30 times a second it'll be updated, whereas 60 is probably much more of a sweet spot, so I ended up buying this TV because it's basically, I'm not going to get any more than 30 hertz out of that MacBook Pro anyway for now, so later on maybe I'll look at a 60 hertz monitor when they come out. Uh, I think we need USB 2.0 for that. So this is the a 40 inch. Cost me 520 from the good guys. That was um, an eBay special at the time. And that's my 24 inch iMac. So what I wanted to do was show the lag here because probably I was really curious about this and thought, well, anyway, I'm going to find out is by getting one of these things and doing it because I couldn't really see much on the internet. People would say that they weren't happy with the lag, but really, you need to see it for yourself. So, anyway. So, that's... I'll have to get back a little. What I've got here is screen sharing. So, this is... in the On the 40-inch display, I've got the 24-inch display being shared. So, as you can see, they're identical. So, if I move this window around you'll see the lag so I'm moving it up down right left so you can see basically that's the same effect you're going to get with the mouse so screen sharing is actually working pretty instantly so if I'm just working on this display even though I'm not controlling this computer directly it's updating in real time with what I'm doing on the um, with the mouse but this one's way behind so if you see the circles here I'm using my left hand and I'm not left-handed so I'm trying to do a circle you can see that sort of lag there all right so that's basically it I mean it's usable and if you're not going to be moving around like I just don't feel as confident grabbing uh, windows and throwing them all around the place as I am when I'm using the iMac on its own um, but maybe I'll get used to it, but at the end of the day, it's never going to be as good as a monitor with 60 hertz or better refresh rate.